if not hundreds of thousands of documents that have just been leaked um, in relation to Fukushima. Now those documents need to be uh, sorted as some of them are quite repetitive um, and when we release the information we don't want you to have to read things twice but I do want to make the announcement that any and all documents related to Fukushima and anybody involved with anything I have access to now and so the rest of the world will have access to um, and for you trolls uh, who are just waiting for for some legal line to be crossed let me remind you that these documents were obtained not by hacking servers and stealing information they're actually available to the public but hidden so far down a rabbit hole that you would never ever find them they have not been released publicly but they are available um, if you can find them and luckily for us uh, some anonymous constituents have found them and found how to access them anyway uh, we'll be sorting through those in the coming days, uh, but I was asked to make the announcement that those will be released, and nobody in the public arena has more documents than we have right now, not Fairwinds Associates, um, not to put them down because they've done a great job, um, nobody other than the people involved with Fukushima, and, well, us now. You too, yes, because soon you will have these. I'm not going to upload this document, but I am going to breeze through real quick and show you these pictures and then point out a couple key factors. This is the mid to long term roadmap towards decommissioning in Fukushima, and I want to point this out because for those of you that think Fukushima is over, uh, no, 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 no. You can see that the only thing that has been completed is commencement of the fuel removal from the spent fuel pools within two years that commencement of that means that this has nothing has been done in other words okay um, they commence to try to but uh, it hasn't happened yet and you can see here uh, the period to, uh, to the commencement of the removal of the fuel debris okay first they're going to remove the fuel that's still in the fuel pools first uh, that's going to take in their estimates up to two years okay but the debris the fuel that was blown all over hell's creation and splattered all over the landscape they're they're gonna take 10 years to do that okay 10 years while there's spent fuel just radiating whatever is near it um, and then phase three is 30 to 40 years so I want you to grasp that that Fukushima ha has just begun it's not over it, it's just beginning now in this whole time over a year and a half spewing radioactive isotopes into the environment into the water into the air constantly okay now let's move along one other thing I wanted to point out this uh, most of us I think would believe that the United States is not involved in this um, we haven't been updated by our president like he said he would he has not made any public statements or addressed this situation since he lied to you and told you that everything was fine and you should do nothing to prepare meanwhile your children are starting to feel the effects and maybe getting cyst on their thyroids if you live on the west coast or maybe your baby died out of the womb because he told you not to do anything but anyway um, so we have the belief that we're not doing some people think that the Japanese refused our help well um, this says something a little different doesn't it can you see that 
U.S. licensee, inform the U.S. licensee of vent details, U.S. licensee inspections to assess similar vulnerability, U.S. licensee inspections to assess adequ adequacy of SAMGs, request U.S. licensee mitigative strategies information for similar events. Similar events. Are those similar events that have already happened? Or similar events that are about to? Illinois is sending uh, potassium iodide pills to over 60,000 households. And you do the math, the average household has four people. That's well over a quarter of a million, or about a quarter of a million people, roughly, rough estimate. I mean, maybe it's only 180. I don't know. How many people are in each house? Many. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to be taken or have on hand potassium iodide. So I don't know if it's related. I, I don't want to speculate. I just want the truth. But the truth is, is that we are involved and that you have not been informed. And another fact, another bit of truth, is you will be informed now, right here on this YouTube channel, um, as we sort through these documents. So, again, I'm not going to upload this document. It just doesn't seem like there is uh, enough information to bother with that, and I don't have the time today to go through these, it must be, hundreds of thousands of documents. But there is a team sorting them so that when the package is released, you don't have to read the same email three times. It's been bounced back and forth and all those communications and all that data that's uh, repetitive will be removed and, and the core elements, uh, everything that's pertinent will be released in the coming weeks. Anyway, much love, many thanks, and, and a special thanks to the anonymous constituents who are working very hard to dig up this information and hand it off to me. Um, that's what it's all about, folks. I would have had no way of finding these myself. But when we all pull together, we can do a lot. So stay tuned, uh, because in the coming weeks, you're going to get overloaded with enough information to horrify you, not only at the danger that is still being thrown into our atmosphere daily, but the fact that your government has totally lied to you, and TEPCO has lied, and the Japanese people should have been evacuated from Japan. Um, that's all for now. Again, much love, many thanks, and expect thousands of documents in the near future. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop, and you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that